The sixth annual Google I.O. conference opened on Wednesday, focusing on the company's latest developments across Android, Chrome, search, social networking and web technologies. At the event, Google confirmed that more than 900 million Android devices have been activated worldwide, almost one for every seven people. Here's a roundup of all the big announcements from Google I.O. 2013. Watch out Spotify, Audio, and Pandora. Google is bringing a shiny new music streaming service to the interweb. Google Play Music All Access launches in the US for $9.99 a month. However, a UK launch date remains unknown. But the company did say it would announce details about international availability later in the year. Google also announced a customized version of Samsung's recently released Galaxy S4. The smartphone will run the latest version of Android only, rather than Samsung's TouchWiz overlay. The move is interesting due to the controversy surrounding Google and Samsung's relationship. Reports have suggested that fractures were developing due to increasing concerns over Samsung's influence on the operating system. Google's failing social network is also getting a new design in an attempt to rekindle interest. The redesigned service adds a multi-column design that changes dynamically based on the device accessing it. It also features dynamic tiles that allow people to go deeper into posts. This is controlled by tags which the user can either add manually or Google will do itself. Also announced was a new standalone Hangout app, which takes aim at other cross-platform chat apps including WhatsApp, BBM, Viber and Skype. Google also unveiled a new cloud-based photo editing app. The photo tool is designed to help people share better pictures via Google+. When you upload your pictures, Google's one-touch feature automatically rejects any that are blurry or don't have people smiling, for example. Many put the service on a collision course with tools like Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, the move comes at a perfect time for Google as Adobe looks to move to a cloud-only service offering. Google unveiled a raft of new features for its online map service. The company has spent the last year collecting a huge amount of data from a variety of sources, including its Street View cars, which have now travelled 5 million miles across 50 countries. Google hoped this will allow them to map out cities in even more detail. It also announced that it was ramping up local business data and bringing it to mobile via new apps for iOS and Android this summer. The new apps will also bring live coverage of traffic accidents and alerts in the US. Google, however, didn't mention if this will be coming to the UK, but we imagine it'll only be a matter of time before it does. Wrapping up the keynote, Google co-founder and CEO Larry Page said it's vital to get people more involved in technology. He claimed that Android is now leading the push, with smartphones a key tool in helping people get involved. For more Google I.O. news and hands-on, be sure to head over to t3.com.